Hi everyone, I'm Rob Horlacher from Project Sandbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add titles and text to OpenShot. So the first thing that you want to do to add titles or text to OpenShot is you want to go to this title section at the very top of the page. From there, you'll click on that, and then you'll have two options available to you. One's title and one's animated title. So the one that says title is just static, versus animated titles obviously have a little bit of motion associated with them. I should warn you that the animated titles will not work for you though, unless you have Blender installed on your computer. I'll show you how to do that in a future tutorial. So for this one, we're just going to look at this title option because that's what's immediately available to you. So if we click on that, you'll see that there's a bunch of different templates that you can choose from on the left hand side. So what you'll basically want to do is you'll want to choose a template that more or less looks the way that you want it to look like on your video. So say I just wanted text in the center right there. So I just click on that. And then we can see a display image of what that will actually look like. So if you'll notice, it'll say the title in the middle, and then it'll say very similar text in one of these boxes. So to modify that text, all you'll have to do is fill out this little text box here. So let's change it to awesome video. And then you'll notice that that actually changed right there. And then underneath it, there's a couple different options that you can modify as well. So we can change the font color just by clicking on that. Um, this is also, or sorry, we'll change the font by clicking on that. The color would be right there, but we can change font by clicking there. And then you can select from your list of fonts what you might want it to look like. Uh, you can choose your font style. So that's normally like if it's bolded or italicized, stuff like that. And then you can actually change the size right there as well. And then there's normal effects that you can add to it as well. And whenever you're happy with what that looks like, you just hit OK. And then you could modify, say, the font color down here. So say we wanted it to be completely white, we would change that there. And then you'll see the text changed. Um, same goes for the background color. Say we wanted the background color to um, be like one of these default colors or if we wanted it to be any variation of color that you can pretty much think of, you could select it on here. Um, this bar right here is how you can change the saturation of that color. So at the bottom is black, top is full of that color, whatever that is. Um, have a feel, or you can experiment with that if you like to. Um, if you want to pick a color on the screen, you can always click there, and then any color that you really see on here, you can click, and then hit OK, and then your background will change. The only option that you won't be able to use right away is this advanced editor. So much like you need Blender installed to do the animated titles, you actually need a program called Inkscape uh, installed on your computer to use these advanced editors. Once again, I'm going to show you that in a later tutorial of how to actually connect that up if you want to have those features. Um, but that's why you wouldn't be able to use this right away. Once you have your text chosen, you just hit save. And then your text will get added to your project files. From there, all you actually need to do is click and drag that over top of your video footage and then your title will be added. Much like video footage, you can manipulate the beginning and end or edit this however you might want. If you notice, this also has properties associated with it. So you can do things like fading on your titles and stuff like that as well. So I know this was a really quick tutorial comparatively to some of the other ones, but if you have any questions, you know where to get a hold of me. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.